Welcome back to Detail Garage. Today, we're preparing the front end of this car for a clear bra wrap. Now, the owner of this aerial, Adam, likes to take it out in the canyons. He likes to go uh, through the hills. He likes to drive it hard. And whenever you're driving hard and there's other cars around you, you might get rock chips all over the front end of the vehicle. So sometimes some car owners like to wrap their front end of the car with a clear bra wrap. It's just a big sticker, it's a thick film. It's clear so you can see all the carbon fiber, you can see your paintwork, but it helps to absorb any rock impacts or bug impacts to protect the paintwork or the surface underneath. Now we're working on the carbon fiber on the front end here. This is a custom carbon fiber front end clip and the installers were doing something kind of weird. It already has some swirls and scratches in the surface and there's some kind of like rubber or bug guts stuck all over the front. The, <laughs> the owner obviously wasted no time. He got immediately out on the road to enjoy the car. So we need to take off all this contamination before we deal with the swirls and scratches to prep the surface for the clear bra wrap. So uh, I'm gonna deal with um, the above surface contamination first with a clay bar. I have the OG clay bar. This is gonna pull off anything stuck on top of the surface, like a, any pollution or any of these bits of rubber or bugs that get stuck on the surface to make it smooth as glass and so that there's nothing that's gonna clog our buffing pad or grind into the surface to cause any extra scratches. I'm also gonna be working with a Torque X dual action polisher. This is a low profile, easy to use machine polisher for any beginner or any professional detailer who wants to get into any harder reach places. See, so the low profile, it's gonna help me reach into the air intake uh, area here in the front end of the carbon fiber clip. It's not gonna get in the way. And I already switched out the backing plate to a three inch backing plate. This is gonna help me uh, stay on the surface, on these smaller surfaces. The sh machine normally ships with a five inch backing plate. If you wanna learn how to switch to a three inch backing plate, which is very simple, you can check out the links to the videos linked below and in the description uh, for this video. So I'm gonna be working with a four inch HexLogic white soft polishing pad and some v4 all in one so uh, i'm using v4 because it's a lighter polish and it has some sealant in it so i don't need to seal the paintwork or the carbon fiber the owner of the car isn't having this atom wrapped right away he still needs to drive it around for a few more days he still needs to take it back home where the installer is going to come out to actually wrap the front end so we do need to protect the vehicle until then. So the sealant in V4 is enough just to get it to that point. And the installer is gonna take off any sealant or wax on the surface as he preps it for the wrap anyway. So Nick actually already cleaned up the car. He, he took off all the dirt he, he, and he cleaned up the front end so you don't have any loose dust or debris. I'm gonna go on to the clay bar service. So uh, I have a OG clay bar here. This is original strength, original duty and I'm gonna take off just a smaller piece. You can see this clay bar was already used, but we only used one third of the clay bar already. So I'm gonna take off another third from the whole bar. And this is how we recommend you use your clay bars is you break them off to smaller pieces. That way, if you drop your clay bar as you work, which you can think about it like a piece of bubble gum. If you drop it, you're not gonna eat it again. So if you drop a clay bar on the floor, you can't use it because it'll pick up any little rocks. Now you have sandpaper and you're gonna scratch your surface. So if you drop a smaller piece, which is also easier to work with, you don't lose an entire clay bar at once. So after you break off your little piece, go ahead and knead it, shape it, fold it into a little patty so that it's easier to work with. Now once you get it set up here, take your clay bar lubricant. I'm working with clay luber. You can use any quick detail spray if you want and just spray it on over the surface. So I'm gonna be very liberal with this. I want a lot of lubrication. I'm gonna spray it on the clay bar as well. Then I'm just gonna gently glide the clay bar over the surface. So I don't know if you can hear this, but you know it's picking up contamination when you can hear the clay bar gliding over the surface and then you can't. So once the sound dissipates, that means you've picked up any of the contamination that's on the surface and it's gliding over a smooth, pristine, clean surface, which is what you want. I'm gonna focus on this area. We have a lot of bits of burnt rubber or something right here on this carbon fiber clip. I'm gonna come down to the nose. 
and even into the air intake section here. So before you do any sort of work with a polisher or before you spread any wax coatings or sealant on your vehicle, you wanna decontaminate it with a clay bar. That way, anything you're spreading over the surface will stick directly to the pores of the paintwork or the carbon fiber and not on top of any contamination. That way your coating will last longer and look better all along the way. Now I'm really gonna focus in right here on these bits of contamination. There we go. Now the surface is feeling very smooth under the clay bar. The test to see if you're done with a clay bar, simply feel it. So you can leave the lubricant on or you can buff it off but just feel the surface and once it's smooth as glass, then you know you're done. So this is feeling nice and smooth. I'm gonna take a fine detailing towel. I'm gonna be working with a happy ending towel. I'm using the purple towel just because we normally save these for buffing off any final wax or sealant coatings. I'm gonna be working with some polish, so I'm gonna use a fine uh, waxing towel. Uh, these towels come with a little tag. Just make sure you peel off any paper tags before you work because you don't want that to scratch the surface as you wipe. So I'll take my towel, gently wipe off the bulk of the cleaner, the clay bar lubricant, and then I'll flip it over to dry side and buff it dry to perfection. So whenever you're working with a clay bar and you're using the luber, you wanna buff it off from any area that you finish. It's easiest just to work one panel at a time or one area of the vehicle. So say the whole front end, buff it dry so you don't have any lubricant drying on the surface, leaving any spots potentially. Then do the roof, do the doors, do the rear end and keep it clean as you work. So now that I have the surface prepped, it's totally smooth. I'm ready to start using the polisher to take out any swirls and scratches. So I'll put my towel down, take out my new HexLogic pad. Out of all the colors, white is a soft polishing pad. It's good for removing any light swirls or scratches. I don't want to be too aggressive with this carbon fiber. It's a custom piece. We're not too sure how much paint or uh, how much of a clear coat is on top of this, so we want to be very gentle when we polish. And uh, it's great to use the white pad with an all-in-one polish like V4. So it's not going to have too much cut. It's not too aggressive on either end from the machine, the pad, or the polishing compound. So I wanna combine it all to get great results on this piece. Now, because I'm working with a smaller area, I'm just gonna use four small dots of the polish. Then I'll just dab it out over the surface. I'll just start with the outside of the piece. Make sure that I spread this out very nicely. If you don't spread this out well, once you start working the machine, it can fling polish all over the place. So just make sure that you spread this out in a nice even coating. Now I'll spread it out with the machine on speed setting one, then working on speed setting six to remove the swirls and scratches.
tip, whenever you shut off your dual action polisher when you're done with your pass, keep the machine on the paintwork. You don't want the uh, bearing free spinning and you don't want to fling any product all over the place when the machine is running at full power. So we finish this pass. You know you're finished with a pass once the polish or your compound begins to turn clear. It'll go on white, it'll go on uh, thick, uh, with a thicker consistency, and it'll be opaque. But once you polish it and break down the abrasives, it'll turn nice and clear, and you're done with your pass. And just with that one pass, this surface is looking a lot more clear. We've taken out much of the swirls that were deep in the clear coat. We've taken out the scratches. We're getting more reflection, more shine, and we're showing off the beautiful weave of the carbon fiber. Now just to fit in smaller areas like the air intake here, I like to use a smaller machine like the Torque X because it has a smaller head, a lower profile body, and it's easy to fit around car parts like door mirrors or any other things that stick out from the vehicle. You can fit into those places with a smaller Torque X machine. Now I'm just going to add maybe two small dots of polish. Because this area is smaller, I'll be able to easily fit inside this air intake area with the Torque X. I'll pick up the polish that I dropped here, spread it out and around. I'll also use my hand as kind of a buffer between the machine and the carbon just to help protect it from any little hits. Now that it's spread out, I'll go ahead and work it in, break down the polish to clear any swirls or scratches we have in this air. up very quickly because it's a smaller area. We had just the right amount of polish and even that is looking much brighter, much more beautiful, much more lustrous. Now I have a whole nother side here to polish up in preparation for the installation of the clear bra. You want to make sure that any scratches, any swirls that you don't want to look at are completely gone from the surface before you wrap it in a clear bra because anything under it is going to be there until you take the clear bra off and polish it. So prep the surface well and make sure it looks flawless and take out any swirls or scratches with your favorite machine polisher and a lighter polishing compound like V4 All-in-One to make it shine and glow like it should. So if you have any other questions about the products that we used in today's video, you can check them out on the Chemical Guys website. The links are right below in the description. If you want more top detailing tips and tricks, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have over 900 videos showing you how to do just about anything. You've got a nice car, let's keep it clean with Chemical Guys. I like that weird hop. Mm -hmm.